Woo! Wee! What's going on, YouTube? It's Donnie B all day. Um, really quick video. Poo, I'm pumped. Everybody should be pumped for this. The D Bad Gladiator. I just took it out. Now I'm taking it out again. Um, this thing. This is. The, I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm not pulling any punches here. This is the greatest Gladius I have ever put in my hands. I mean, it's easy for me to say because I designed it. You know what I mean? It, it's my blade through and through, made by the uh, the Kukri House. Um, but this is the greatest Gladius I have ever, ever put in my hands. And I've held many. Um, I still own like five or six. This is the best Gladius I have ever put in my hands. And I don't know how, but Lim Suba already got it up on the website. So I will put the link um, down below. Now, one person actually asked, he said, doesn't having these make it weaker? And first of all, no, I mean, it's this thick, it's not weaker. Uh, I was hoping I had a, a buoy near me that I could show you. But when you look at um, like the Muso buoy, or any big buoys, you're going to see that it comes across, and then the Ricasso comes like this, and then down like that. And some knives have a really thin piece that holds there to there before the drop. So the design, as far as cutting out around the hilt, has been done for thousands of years, and it's never been an issue. There are a lot of blades that have these cutouts, um, and they are just war machine type blades. They are phenomenal. So no, there is zero weak spots here. Not only that, but these are both arches and not angles. Arches are the strongest way um, to have a cutout anywhere. That's why you'll see doorways and old places were arches. The VW Beetle was an arch. Um, it just makes it stronger. It's It's pure strength. So no, there is not a weak spot there. Um, you can look at knives everywhere and you're going to see that generally your grip comes up <laughs> sorry i didn't mean to flip you all off up and then out like that hold on. i'm just gonna find one hold on the notches buoy would have been a great example um or even um ah, there there's all there's a whole bunch of them there's a whole bunch of them where it's very thin and then drops down and some of the greatest buoy makers in the world do that i i think um uh, some of uh, some of the um, the big name customs, and I'm absolutely brain farting because I need to remember. I'm going to show you two different examples of of how it works. So this one right here, you're saying, yeah, but it's thick all the way through. No, it's not. You see how thin this is? Right here, you can see where the blade cuts up and cuts down. So you can see there, right there, is like a half inch, and it's really skinny at the top of the tang. Your K bars. Um, although your K bars are not that thick and they will break, but, um, it, it's, it's a thin point of blade and then it gets wide. But then if you look at even the preacher, look at the distance from here to here compared to here to here, this thing will never break. This thing, this thing will never break. The preacher is a badass, nasty tool. And you're going to see that there is this much real estate take this out again that much real estate in there you see that i mean it's never ever going to break so for people who think because there's cutouts it must have a weak spot that's not true it um it's just part of knife making it's been that way for a very very long time um look at the muso buoy just look at it but uh this thing is incredible and I want to show you right now because the whole point of the video is just to show you that it's on the website it's ready to go let's uh let's let's take a look so here we go on the website dbad gladiator um fanta look at the price look at that price 170 they got it going I mean come on man um so for the probably the strongest short sword gladiator on the planet um that price is amazing you'll see all the pictures i took actually i'll, I'll just run through with you so boom there it is boom there it is so you know you know you can skip this part look at that man these are all the pictures i took here and then 
If you're looking at um, to do, you want to know everything about it. You can pause right here and then read it on your own time. Um, this knife is amazing. So this is what I wrote uh, wrote up on the blade. I don't know if you'd be able to pause and read that because it'd be really small. But if you felt like it, just go to the. Um, there's me. You can go to the. Uh, the website and just check it out. So I'm going to put this link down below. It's ready to go. This thing is freaking awesome. I am Dottie Bialde. Until next video.